Good morning and welcome to Beginning the Day with God on Saturday the 1st of July. We opened our worship this morning by listening to Bob Chilcott's Be Thou My Vision. <clears throat> o God our Creator, your kindness has brought us the gift of a new morning. Help us to leave yesterday and not to covet tomorrow, but to accept the uniqueness of today. By your love celebrated in your word, seen in your Son, brought near by your Spirit, take from us what we need to carry no longer, so that we may be free again to choose to serve you and to be served by each other. Amen. This morning we continue our journey through the book of the prophet Nehemiah. Today, chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. In the month of Nisan, in the twentieth year of King Artaxerxes, when wine was served to him, I carried the wine and gave it to the king. Now, I had never been sad in his presence before, so the king said to me, Why is your face sad, since you are not sick? This can only be sadness of the heart. Then I was very much afraid. I said to the king, May the king live forever. Why should my face not be sad, when the city, the place of my ancestors' graves, lies waste, and its gates have been destroyed by fire? Then the king said to me, What do you request? So I prayed to the God of heaven. And then I said to the king, If it pleases the king, and if your servant has found favour with you, I ask that you send me to Judah, to the city of my ancestors' graves, so that I may rebuild it. Thanks be to God. We come now to our reflection, which has been written by Michael Ipgrave. Michael says, My rabbi friend and I were looking out towards the Mount of Olives, its slopes covered by cemeteries glistening in the bright Jerusalem sunlight. Over there are my parents' graves, he said, and next to them is reserved the place for my own grave. I felt privileged to be part of such a deeply personal conversation. As Nehemiah performs his official duties, the mask of respectful cheerfulness slips and he reveals to the king his deep attachment to the city of my ancestors' graves. This profoundly personal exchange proves a turning point in the narrative as Nehemiah sets out with royal blessing on his mission to rebuild Jerusalem. And another chapter unfolds in the long story of Jewish attachment to this city. There is a message here for us as well. Human beings from the beginning have treated with special care the places where their ancestors are buried. For many of us, a plot in a churchyard or garden of remembrance is a place of special significance, where our loved ones are laid to rest. These are places of remembrance, but the Mount of Olives points to a different dimension too. In traditional Jewish belief, this is the place where resurrection will begin when the Messiah comes. In the same way, our churchyards point not only to memory of the past, but also expectation for the future. As the early Moravian community said, they are God's acre, sown with the bodies of the faithful, 
awaiting the harvest of resurrection. May the place of our ancestors' graves be a place of hope for us. Amen. We come now to our prayers and this morning we pray for Archbishop Justin, Bishop Rose, Archdeacons Darren, Stephen, Will and Andrew and for the whole Diocese of Canterbury, for all who work on our behalf at Diocesan House in Canterbury and for Dean David and for all who minister at our cathedral. We pray today too for Andrew and for all those to be ordained with him today at Canterbury and in the cathedrals across our country. We pray too for ourselves, for those we have loved and who have died, whose places of rest remain special to us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God, kindled within our hearts today, a flame of love for our neighbours, for our foes, for our friends, for our people, for the brave and for the cowardly, for the thoughtless ones. O Son of Mary, in all that we love, may we serve you from the lowliest thing that lives to the name that is highest of all. Amen. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace and serve the Lord. We will seek peace and pursue it. Glory be to God who made us, and to Christ who saved us, and to the Holy Spirit who keeps us in faith. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen.